Welcome to Education on Demand, where learning is limitless. Today's lesson is on GMAT data sufficiency, algebra. Typical question found in the GMAT will read, is X negative? In this section of the GMAT, students must decide whether the information in each statement is sufficient to answer the question. The first step to solving this question is to evaluate statement 1 or X to the 9th is less than X to the 8th. Any negative number would be a valid answer for x, considering any negative number raised in even power will be positive, and any negative number raised in odd power will be negative. Unfortunately, this also works for any number between 0 and 1. For example, 0.5 to the 9th equals 0 0.002, and 0.5 to the 8th equals 0 0.004. Hence, statement 1 is insufficient. Next, we're going to evaluate statement 2 or x squared plus 3.5x minus 2 equals 0. We can factor our equation of x squared plus 3.5x minus 2 to x minus 0.5 times x plus 4. Now, x minus 0.5 and x plus 4 can be separated in each set equal to 0 so that we can solve for x in each equation. When we solve for x in x minus 0.5, we must add 0.5 to each side of the equation to isolate our x variable. x minus 0.5 plus 0.5 equals x, and 0 plus 0.5 leaves us with 0.5, or x equals 0.5. Now we're going to set the other equation, or x plus 4, equal to 0 and solve for x. In order to isolate our x variable, we must subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. x plus 4 minus 4 leaves us with x, and 0 minus 4 leaves with negative 4, or x equals negative 4. Hence, statement 2 states that x equals 0.5 or negative 4. These answers are insufficient in trying to determine if x is negative. Now we are going to evaluate statement 1 taken with statement 2. Again, we are presented with the same problem. x can be any negative number or any number between 0 and 1 in statement 1, and a positive 0.5 and a negative 4 in statement 2. Hence, statement 1 and statement 2 taken together are insufficient. Therefore, the answer is E. I hope this lesson helped you better prepare for your test. Subscribe to the Ivy Key channel and view new videos every day. If you have a test question, leave a comment below. And you can sign up for group classes and private lessons by visiting the ivykey.com.